Hey guys, Zeki here, and welcome back to another episode of Engineer's Life with me. Hey, and I don't know why, but the cauldron's smoking. I don't have anything in it, but it's smoking. <laughs> so, welcome back to another episode. We're gonna get right back into where we left off. The only thing that I did was wait for things to process. Just a tad bit. And the first things first, though, it was like any quest-wise. First thing I did is went ahead and go went and make the bronze. Because I think we technically kind of sort of did that before. It wasn't that hard, it's just getting uh, free dust and free tin using our millstone, and we already have the kiln bricks, so I just had to take it down and put it back, and then make a bronze ingot using that. But now it's telling me I want to make a bronze pickaxe set, so I already have it set up, I have the bronze in here melted, um, which goes super fast by the way, so let's just go ahead and get that going. It was two not enough- oh, it needed all four? I did not know that. I thought it was just two. Well, good thing this smelts fast. Where did I put it? There it is. Uh, smelt. Well, is it all four that it needs? I'm probably not doing good math. Yeah, it probably needs. <laughs> three. Yeah, it just needed three. Uh, I'll just hold on to this. Bronze pickaxe. Cool. So, let's actually see. That gives us a whole block of redstone links, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's see what this does. So, right now the durability is 845 with a mining speed of 5.8425. Oh my god. Okay, so that mining level is obsidian. That's what I needed. Everything is better! Okay. Uh, give. Okay. Alright, here's the thing I was gonna bring up too, is I had no idea how to get obsidian. Because I did not know that I could just make a bronze pickaxe set. I was just like, I was thinking that tin, copper, and gold... Tin, copper, and lead were the only three things that I could smell, and I was just like, I don't know how to get anything, because I'm diamond level. I thought diamond level was what I needed, so I needed obsidian level. So, actually, I don't need to do it right now, because I got... Did I not? I thought I got three obsidian from you. You lied. Do not. Well, I can do that real quick. There we go. Well, I guess I'll go mine obsidian real quick. Alright, the reason I wanted it so bad was because you guys were telling me about this vacuum hopper. And then also this uh, block placer. So that I can use the kiln a little bit more efficiently. And by efficiently, I mean I don't have to touch it. I just throw things in there and leave. <laughs> so, I'm going to see... Now, there's two different types of block placers. And I also don't know if this is the ones that you guys were talking about. So because of this new update, I don't know if any, most of the blocks are the same. Just because it has the same name doesn't mean it's the same thing. But I can't make this factory block hopper yet because I don't have, like, iron plates. I could, I could technically try and make it, but I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, I can make clay plate. Oh, I could do that. Well, technically I could make this, but I don't know. But I'm gonna use this one first because it's just the easier out of the two. So I just need five, two, three, four, five, that's six. I can do math. And then one redstone. Well, technically two, because I'm making a hopper. So it's just one, two, three. And then I need more cobble. Four. And three wood. I'm assuming it's the same recipe as usual. I cannot do math today. There we go. So you wanted me to make that, and then I also have the hopper and the eye of ender. I just need one more piece of obsidian. I go to the cave here. See how dark this cave is? <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I just need one more piece of obsidian, but I was stuck because I couldn't make it because I didn't have that thing anymore. But now I should be able- yeah, look at the progression go. I didn't have any progression before that. I'm gonna bet you that there's lava underneath this and I'm gonna lose this piece. Give it! Oh. Wait, why did I still get the quest? I didn't grab it. There we go. Oh, I have excavate. I can sit here and excavate. Ha ha! Come on, come on. Ha! Thank you! Okay, I got seven. I needed one. I'm cool. And I'll just... That'll go there. Cool. Let's go home. So, we'll just do that, and that, and that, and that gives us a vacuum hopper. Cool. What else did I complete? 
At the Eye of Ender. Must have been the other quest book. I'm gonna ignore that one for now because I just get confused. Uh, but let's go ahead and claim those quests. Okay, we got another bronze, abyssal, tool crate, and a tool crate advanced alloy shovel. Ooh. That's a lot of durability. I might change out my shovel. Mining level cobalt. Which, excuse me, I'm just. Yep. Tool parts crate. Obsidian polishing kit. I don't remember what this is used for. Use for a bow? Plates. Trim. I can use it for several things. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in here because I never remember quite what that's used for. We'll figure it out. Hi, princess. Hi, chatted. We got another Eye of Ender, which is great. Because here's the thing the next step after we got that is we have to go to the end. And I think a lot of you are telling me is I can't make Soulforge steel until I go to the end. Why? Not sure yet. Soul Flux is from Ender Slag. Ah, that's why. I needed Ender... Ender stuff. We could do that. So, we're gonna have an exploration episode. Next episode. Because we don't have enough Eye of Ender right now to do that. But it won't be too long. Okay, so we have the Block Placer. I think what I want to test out is Brow. Which is this. And I'll do... We just, I'm going to grab two pieces of sand from somewhere over here. Where am I? This way. Do, 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 do. One, two. And then this will go into our kiln. No, wait. It goes into here first. Yes. And then this gets stoked. <laughs> and here's the thing, too. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. It just didn't like me. Here's the thing, though, is I actually don't know if this is any faster. It might be. I also don't know why it's not doing the animation. It always did a little, like, breaky animation. Maybe I had it because I turned it on after I placed it? I don't know. Why did I do that? I needed that so I could test out the blocks. <laughs> okay, well actually the first the thing I want the vacuum hopper at the most, and I'm about to show you guys why if it didn't despawn on me. It's because of this. So if I place this here. Yeah. So Oh, it's too far away over there. So I guess I, what I could do, the best thing I could do, is just place it on the ground right in front of it. That way, you can, no, I don't want. I don't care how to make that. <laughs> so it should just automatically grab it every time that's out. So now I don't have to sit here and wait for it. Cool, that's great. How does this block placer work? So we'll let that run because I needed more hemp fibers anyway. Let's go home, and I'm gonna go ahead instead of. Working on seared bricks, so let's just grab some dirt. If I place this down, it's just a block placer. Which I assume needs like a lever. Or a clock. Whichever one you wanna. I thought I had extra levers. There they are. Okay, so that's how that works. Here's my thing. One, can I turn it? Or do I need to look down? Okay, so I could do that. Here's the thing. The kiln has all areas except one side open. So I could put this on the one side. But how am I supposed to get it out? That's my question. Unless, like... Unless, like, like with the... the, the what is it called? I need to sleep. The vacuum hopper, if I put that in like the corner of the kiln, will it just kind of extract it from inside? Is that what you guys are like really wait wanting me to do? I could do that. It would suck because I have this placed up so nicely, but I could do that. I think it'll depend on how much that we need it. Because I know we're going to use the kiln and the cauldron a lot when we're making the rest of our smeltery. 
because we don't even have a base set, because I, ha I have it on the 3x3, three, three three, really, base. So I need at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seared bricks. And then I, I do want to... Uh... Oh, I forget the name. The things that let it go out. Like the drains. I need two drains. So... Hmm. But we'll probably need more if I'm going to put the, the... We're going to need a lot. It's just going to take a while. So I might do that when I'm doing it, but take it down when we're not, because it's not pretty. Because <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I am going to be that way. Um, but other than that, now that we have a sur surefire way of getting obsidian and all that, the next thing is it does want us to do the wither. I don't want to do that yet. Uh, we can make an improved windmill, which is why I wanted the windmill. I'm just gonna... That's what I need. I just need the stack. Home. So what I do is I make seven, and then... Do, 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 do. Yay! Improving windmill. So we'll use that for the next windmill that we make, which will be eventually. Oh, do I not get a... I don't get a reward. Oh. <laughs> Well, since I don't really feel like going to the nether and I really don't feel like finding the end quite yet, what we can do is start working on our crucible and all that. Now, it'll work over to Soul the Soul Foul, Soul, Soul, Soul Forge Steel, which we can't actually make yet, but if we, as long as we have the crucible for it, then it kind of justifies going to the end now instead of like, we'll go to the end and then just like, not have the stuff we need. So let's just grab like a ton of clay. And let's just run over. Do, do, do. I can't wait to put like a road in here. Like just, just one of those like janky gravel roads. Cause, Cause that would look nice. Okay, so we have this. First thing we want to make is the planter. So to get the planter, you must first form the unfire pottery version of it by adding a clay block to a spinning turn table. The clay block must go through four full rotations before turns into the unfired planter. You must then fire the unfired planter in a kiln. Uh, by itself, the planter is useless, except for decoration, but once it's filled with dirt or soul sand, the planter can have all crops planted in it, like hemp, wheat, flowers, trees, and even cacti, as well as nether wart and blood wood trees. The planter allows the planting of crops without having to worry about water or trampling on them, allowing for more efficient farms. The planter also works in the nether, making nether farms a reality, as it allows you to plant things in the nether that you couldn't before, like reeds and hemp. The dirt in the filled planter is basically wet farmland, so you can grow hemp on it without having to worry about it. anything but the light level and reeds without having to worry about adjacent water. That's cool. That's a crucible. Planter. And it just says it goes in the kiln? Stoke kiln. That's what I assumed. Like I said, you usually see like a little breaking animation, but I guess we're just not gonna see it with these. But that's okay. Aha! Planter. So that'll do that. So we can do farms with this. I'm not going to. This farm can't. Ooh. Wait. Actually. Hang on. It doesn't take the melon. Unless I gotta till it? I do not. Oh, now it's grass. <laughs> okay. It's not what I wanted, but okay. Oh. Save a plant, eat a vegan. What? <laughs> That's not what I wanted, but okay. Can I take the dirt out of it? I guess not. That's okay. It's just a grass planter now. I guess I could put the hill cherry thing. Can I put the hill cherry thing in there? Ooh. Well, we'll leave that there. Okay. The next thing that we can make is an urn, and then there's also the crucible. The crucible was the first thing that we made anyway, so let's go ahead and... So these don't actually take that long, but I also think it's because I have, the, have it on the fastest setting. And then the other thing we need is an urn, which I think is the very last thing. Crucible. Planter. Vase. Laws. Urn. And I think if you let it go any farther past the urn, it just breaks. You don't get anything back from it. 
Okay, so with this, I also need tallow and soap. Hi. Okay, urn. Uh, an urn is crafted by placing a clay block on top of it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's traditionally used as a container for the ashes of the deceased. It can be placed as an aesthetic block. I was pretty sure... That the urn was used for something else. I think it's like... Yeah, if you pl put it below a hopper... You can turn it into a soul urn when I'm making my hellfire dust, or if you're making saw dust. As long as that has something to do with another rapper soul. Okay. And then what do you do with that? Ooh, I could make a bloodwood sapling. I can get it back. Oh, that... Is that the only way to make that? Oh, so I need to do that to make the soul file skills. Yes, I need the... Okay. I'll just put that in here. No, sit. I didn't want you to stand. I don't want you to fly away. <laughs> okay, cool. So we could do that. Now, but first we need tallow and soap. Tallow is made from just meat. We could do ten. Yeah, let's... Instead of wasting our food, let's do... Two of these. And then the other thing we need is soap. And soap is made of tallow and potash. And we'll do two of those. Where's my potash? That's Niter. I thought I made potash. I guess not. How do I make potash? Pretty sure it's just with uh, wood. Does it have to be molding? Yeah, I think it does. It has to be 24 molding. Yep, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get some wood done. So to get the molding, it just cuts it in half, so technically we need just six. Six should get us 24. If I'm doing the math right. Windmill. This is loud! Uh, I did the math right. I'm cool. You do still doing? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Let's get out of that loud... Ow. Loudness. So I think this has to be in a stoked cauldron. Is that what it said? Yeah, let's go ahead and stoke that. Throw that in there. Oh, is it gonna be quick? Ooh, Okay. I love it when the stuff is quick. <laughs> One potash, and then throw the towel in there, and get soap. We did it. We got a food crate. Ooh, cake. Dan tea with milk. I don't know what that is, but I'm more excited about the cake. We got cake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, not yours. Mine. Okay. Cool. Let's go put this cake down. I think we already have a cake in there, but I'm not complaining. We can have two cakes. Two cakes! Better than one cake. So what is this soap and stuff used for? Let's see. Soap is used in the cauldron to make chopping blocks, or I can use it to make a piston. Oh, bloody chopping block. So the soap is literally just used to clean stuff, and then the tallow is made I can make candles, or I can make blasting oil, or the soap. And what's blasting oil? Blasting oil I can use to make dynamite. Or I can use it in the place of dynamite to do stuff in the implosion. Okay. So, not useless, but right now not needed sort of thing. Okay, I can do that. So the next thing that we need is the soul fire. I'll never say this right. Soul forged steel. Which is made from coal dust, soul flux, and iron ingots. And of course, the salt urn. So let's go ahead and grab that urn back. Where did I put it? Put it in here. Um, and then the urn. So it's literally just making the stuff in the nether rack. So the hellfire dust. So if we go ahead and go back to the windmill and get rid of those so that I can get this to go. Oh, I forgot! Uh ow, 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 ow. <laughs> As 
an FYI, when I'm doing this stuff off camera, I have my sounds off. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> it's too loud. <laughs> I could turn my sounds down now. I I have it just. I usually have it at the zero because that is so loud and annoying. Okay. Ugh. Ah, stand over here. Okay. So once we get this, because I just want to see if it works. Because from what I understand, I just have to do. Boop. So it should just automatically do it. Are you done yet? Good. Okay, let's go to the top. I will figure out a better way to have this set up as well, because doing this every single time is not fun. Oop, no. Don't do that again. Thank you. Did it do it? No. That's okay. We'll have it happen one time. But we are at the end of this episode, so I think... Before the next episode, I'm going to go ahead and get things together so we can at least get begin the soul file storage. And then we're also... I keep saying soul filed. I don't know why. Soul forged steel. <laughs> I'll get the stuff together so we can do that. But I also think I'm going to try and get a ton more Eye of Enders so that we can go in a little bit of an exploration episode. Uh, and see what we can do. That's a lot of monsters. Hang on. Eh. Oh, these. It's a battle. Uh, I'm going for the hardened skeleton. You can do it, man! Do it! Smack him! Come on! Don't you interrupt this battle! My guy won! Now I kill him! Oh, he is very hardened. Okay. Oh god, I don't want that creeper to explode. <laughs> okay, uh, I cheered for you, I'll let you live, until the daylight. I'm going home. Mm. I'm home. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye